My kids still aren't in school in person. Many restaurants and businesses in California are closed forever. Our governor wants to now restrict how many people I can invite over to my house and we can't conduct any real estate open houses. Since I made this video a few weeks ago where I gave you five reasons to get the f out of California in 2020, the mass exodus out of the state has only escalated. And if you're thinking of joining the Cool Kids Club and leaving California, stay tuned because I've done the research, I've crunched the numbers, and on today's video, I'm going to give you the top five destinations that don't suck. Let's go. What's up guys, I'm Danny Batsalkin, a real estate broker, business coach, and former attorney. And on this channel, I give you insights into real estate, business, and finance because my passion and mission is to help you make great decisions in these areas of your life. So thanks so much for tuning in. And if you're excited about this type of content, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you're the first to know when I release new videos every single week. And be sure to also follow me on Instagram where I post all kinds of business and personal stuff every single day. I recently did a video on this channel called The Mass Exodus from California Continues, five reasons to GTF out of Los Angeles, California in 2020. If you haven't seen it, you could check it out right over here. And if you have seen it, I want to take a minute and thank you. That video has gotten over 33,000 views and 800 comments, making it by far the most popular video on my channel since I started. It seems that I really hit a nerve because after I made that video, I've seen a ton of other videos saying that California sucks as well. Hey, they say that imitation is the best form of flattery, so I'm definitely flattered with all of that. Now, if you did watch that video or if you've been paying attention to what's going on, you probably already know that Joe Rogan and Elon Musk have both left California to Texas. I also mentioned that Ben Shapiro and his company left to Tennessee, and since then, he also made a California Sucks video talking about his reasons for moving. And since then, we've had more casualties. Graham Stephan, who has a great YouTube channel that I watch, announced that he's moving to Vegas. It is official, I am moving out of California. A few weeks ago, I put down a deposit to buy a home in Las Vegas, Nevada, and in a few months, that will officially be my new full-time residence. And just a few days ago, James Vanderbeek announced on Instagram that he's moving to Texas, and he's also chronicling his journey on Instagram. So if you're a Dawson's Creek fan, you may wanna follow him over there. More and more people are leaving the beach, the sunshine, and the California girls behind and fleeing to states with less congestion, less taxes, no homeless problems, a lower cost of living, good schools, and areas that are more business friendly. The pandemic has really exposed the fact that the way your city and state are run are extremely important and have a dramatic effect on your quality of life. But anyhow, this is not a video about why people are leaving. This is a video about where to go. And if you're thinking of leaving California, or any big city for that matter, you may be wondering, what are the top destinations in the United States? Well, I got you covered on this video. I've done the research, I've compared different areas, and I'm going to give you the top five destinations based on some of the main criteria that people typically use to make a decision on where to live. I'm also gonna throw in some of my personal criteria and opinions mixed in. Be sure to stay until the end and I will tell you my personal top destination and who knows, my family may just end up there sooner rather than later. On that note, my question of the day for you is, are you considering leaving California or some other big city? Are you thinking of going somewhere else or are you gonna stay? And if you're leaving, where would you go? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And as I've mentioned on my last few videos, one of my favorite things about this YouTube channel is responding to your comments. So be sure to drop me a line. All right, you guys, so based upon my research, here are the top reasons people live in certain areas. I think it's really important to take a look at these factors. First, you have your personal and family reasons. These are things like safety, security and crime, schools, quality of life, your friends and your community, entertainment and sports and the weather. A lot of these things are the things that California uses to entice people to come and why people stay and don't leave. 
Next up are the business and financial reasons. These are things like your cost of living, housing, business and personal taxes, the overall business climate if you're an entrepreneur, the availability of talent for your company, the politics and regulations in an area, and the infrastructure and growth. Now, each of us is going to put these things in a different priority order. And for some people, certain things may not be important at all. Each of us also likely has additional factors to consider based upon our own personal interests and tastes. For example, a few additional items on my personal list are gun-friendly laws, proximity to my favorite hobbies like off-roading, snowboarding, and golf, and for my family, proximity to the airport is important as we like to travel, and having a good airport helps as well. Being next to a body of water is also very important for us, so all of those things would go on my personal list. There are some factors that are objective and quantifiable and some that aren't. For example, I can tell you the different property tax rates in various states, but the weather or political climate is subjective, so that's really up to you. All right, guys, let's hit the data and look at the top five destinations in 2020. Texas, Florida, Nevada, Arizona, and Tennessee. Let's take a look at how they stack up based upon all of the factors that I mentioned. So the first factor, cost of living. Now you guys, this channel is about real estate, so of course I'm gonna put that first. Cost of living in the different states, when you look at median home price, when you look at everything else involved in living in the state, this is how they come out. California is ranked 49th out of 50 states. Texas is 23rd, Florida's 35th, Nevada 42nd, Arizona 30th, and Tennessee 22nd. So as you can see, California most expensive in terms of cost of living. Tennessee and Texas are probably the least expensive. Then you got Florida and Arizona, and then Nevada pretty close to California. The second factor we're gonna take a look at is sales tax. This is the tax you pay on stuff when you buy it. When you go to the store and you buy some goods, this is the tax you're gonna pay. Now this is the average tax in the state, some places are higher. For example, I am in Los Angeles County. That tax would be 9.25%, I think. Average in the state is 7.5, but when you take a look at this and you see these taxes, Arizona really takes the cake here at a low 5.6%. Then they start to go up a little bit. Florida, you got Nevada, Texas, Tennessee at seven and California at 7.5. Again, it's gonna vary county by county, but I'm just showing you the median. Next up guys, you got income tax. Okay, this one is super, super important. This is personal income tax, right? So you earn money in that state, you gotta pay this to the state. California, no surprise, highest state income tax in the union at 13.3%. Texas, Florida, Nevada, and Tennessee have zero income tax. So if you're wondering why a lot of people with money or that earn a good income are leaving to states like Texas, it's because they wanna save that 13.3%. Next up is property tax per $1,000 of property valuation. Okay, so you own a home, this is how much you're gonna pay in property tax. Now look guys, if you check this out, here's where Texas clearly makes up that money from not having a personal income tax because their property taxes are more than double that of California. California's property taxes are actually pretty low. Uh, Nevada's are the lowest on the list, as you can see. Tennessee's right there, Arizona's right there, Florida um, kind of in the middle, and then Texas has that high property tax rate. So this is a very important thing to know. If you're gonna move to Texas and buy a house, don't be shocked when your property tax bill is double that of California. Next up is the gas tax. You guys, I threw this in here even though obviously a lot of people are moving to electric cars and Teslas and things like that, but I just wanted you to see that if you have um, a, a gas guzzling car like I do, I got two of them, uh, the gas tax is gonna be higher in certain places than others. Uh, Texas and Arizona have the lowest gas taxes on the list, while California has the second highest in the states, right? And so in California, we pay a very high gas tax. If you've driven through other states, you know that all of a sudden the gas becomes a lot cheaper. Next up is schools. This is the public school rankings. Uh, and if you take a look at this, uh, Florida schools are very good. Texas is next. Uh, California, kind of somewhere in the middle. Nevada, Arizona, surprisingly, don't have very good schools. And uh, Tennessee is uh, right around the same spot as California. Now, again, guys, this is a uh, median average. Of course, 
there are amazing school districts and you know when you look at other places if schools are important to you you're going to find a location with amazing schools so this is just an average of the uh, of the state okay crime crime is taken as a uh, homicide rate uh, per, per capita here and so as far as crime goes the average i want you guys to know is a five there's a, a chart that's used and the average is a five so california in terms of crime actually does pretty well i would be surprised to see how this uh, pans out after the pandemic this is obviously pre-pandemic but california does pretty well here uh, texas florida are right around the average uh, then comes Arizona, Tennessee, and Nevada actually has a very high crime rate. Might have something to do with all of those uh, businesses in Sin City. Who knows? Uh, next up, guys, business policy. Okay, entrepreneurs, listen up. Business policy is extremely important if you own a business uh, or you're, start, you're thinking of starting a business if you're an entrepreneur. These are things that affect you in the operation of your business with employees, the policies, the regulations, all of that kind of stuff. So as an entrepreneur, this is big for me. Business policy, the, uh, the difference here could not be more overstated. California, 49th, uh, typically ranks last or almost last in terms of business friendliness. Texas, on the other hand, is number one. Florida and Nevada are right behind that. So very business friendly states, Arizona and Tennessee rounding out that, you know, top 10, top 11. So, you know, these other areas, as you could see, are doing a lot to attract business to their state. They have great regulations. They have great policy. California, not so much. Uh, next up is business taxes. So this is when you have a business, the tax you got to pay associated with your business, uh, the, the, the fees, the everything that has to do with running your company. California, once again, uh, almost dead last and the other states are pretty much in the same order as they are for business policy. So clearly these other states uh, have a really big focus on attracting and, re and retaining their small businesses. And once again, California, not so much. The last one I put on here, because it's important to me uh, as a hobby, is uh, gun laws. Uh, I, you know, always been curious about, about gun laws. The pandemic has kind of um, exposed that even more. And as you can see, California, very strict gun laws. By the way, when I say gun laws, I mean the, the, the lower the number, the friendlier, um, the, the bigger the number, the lower that state is ranked in terms of friendly gun laws. So Arizona has the most friendly gun laws, California the most restrictive or second to most restrictive. So this is how the states pan out there. Texas is in that top 10. Uh, Arizona, of course, I mentioned number one, uh, Tennessee, uh, is right there, Nevada, Florida, somewhere in the middle, and then uh, and then California uh, coming in at the end. So guys, as you can see on this chart, uh, it does not take a rocket scientist to figure out why a lot of people are leaving California. In a lot of these categories, California is not stacking up to the other states. And in terms of where the other states rank, well, it's going to be up to your personal preference and what's important to you, right? So if something's important to you that Tennessee offers, you might value that more, you might head there. But you guys, what I wanna show you now, because this chart might be a tad bit confusing and relative and they're ranked differently, is I assigned point values for each of these factors based upon where they rank compared to the other states. And I'm gonna show you how that chart pans out. So check this out, you guys. All of the factors are there. Let's start with California. So California, a one means it's the lowest. I rank these one to six. A six means you had the best in that category. So cost of living, California, no doubt, the most expensive. That's why it comes in at one. Uh, it's also the worst in sales tax, income tax. It's right in the middle in property tax. Uh, the most expensive gas tax. Uh, and so on and so forth. As you could see, unfortunately, a lot of ones, meaning California ranks dead last in all those areas. And when you tally up those points on the uh, DEMA state scale here, uh, you get 19 points. Now look guys, I did write in there, check this out, the intangibles. Okay, look, I know there's a lot of intangibles, politics, weather, quality of life, and then whatever additional reasons you have for where you wanna go. So depending upon your own reasons, you may rank one state over another. And that's why I put that in there because it's hard to quantify. 
what may be important for me may not be as important for you. But these are just the quantifiable measures. So now here's where we rank the states, you guys. Here's the fun part. So coming in at number five is Nevada. Uh, Nevada got 35 total points. You can see the rankings right there. So where Nevada does the best is income tax, property tax, good business policy and business taxes. Um, it doesn't have very good crime uh, and it doesn't have very good schools. Uh, the gas tax is also pretty high and the cost of living is expensive. Nevada has gotten a lot more expensive over the years as so many people have moved to Vegas and surrounding areas. Coming in at number four on our ranking of the states is Tennessee with 36 points. So very close to Nevada. As you can see, Tennessee does really well with cost of living and income tax. So it's pretty cheap to, to live there. Um, and then not so well in some other categories like uh, sales tax, crime, uh, and their, their business policy and business taxes actually are not as good as you might expect. Uh, coming in at number three is Arizona, a state that I know a lot about. I spent uh, four years at the University of Arizona in Tucson, so I love Arizona. Uh, and it comes in third with 39 points. High points for Arizona are sales tax, uh, gas tax, and gun laws. Uh, not so well with schools. That's actually pretty surprising to me. I would guess that there are a lot of pockets of Arizona with really good schools, and then maybe there's some areas with not so good schools. So it balances out. And guys, that's the kind of analysis that you should really be doing in depth if you're considering a state or an area. Coming in at number two is Florida. Florida is a state that a lot of people have moved to, especially from New York. Uh, we had a guest on the live show last week. You could check out his video uh, on my YouTube channel. He's in Miami and he said so many of his clients right now are coming from New York to Florida. Anyhow, Florida is also a place where my parents have property and are always trying to entice us to, to go to South Florida. I have a lot of friends that have moved there as well. So Florida comes in at number two, not too shabby. Where Florida does really well, of course, is that zero percent uh, state income tax. It also has fantastic schools, uh, low crime, great sales tax, uh, and some of the other areas where it may not do as well as property taxes and gas tax, but there's nothing that bad. As you can see, Florida has no ones. So it's kind of uh, right in the middle there. It might be the first state with no ones. Oh no, Tennessee also has uh, uh, no ones there. So anyhow, so there are our top four. And if you've been watching the video uh, by process of elimination, you can probably guess, by the way, I should have said, if you look at the point values at the bottom, you know, 19 for California, and then uh, Nevada, Tennessee, Arizona, and Florida are all really close together. That just shows you how big of a gap there is between California and the other states. Anyhow, number one on the list is the great state of Texas with one of my favorite governors in the United States of California. That man is amazing. I love almost everything he does over there in Texas. So anyway, Texas coming in at number one at a whopping 48 points. So really, I, I, I won't say this lightly, blowing everyone else out of the water. I mean, Texas, if you look at the high marks that Texas gets on just about everything, business policy and business taxes, it's the best. It's got good gun laws. The crime is low. The schools are great. The gas tax is low. No state income tax. Uh, cost of living is pretty low and the sales tax is pretty low. The one area where Texas gets you is the property taxes. But look guys, I gotta tell you, if you're paying high property taxes, but you can go to a great public school and you have a bunch of awesome services, then you're getting value from those property taxes and it's not that big of a deal. So Texas is number one on the chart, but again, you guys, I want you to look at those intangibles because it's really gonna be different for everyone. You may have different things that are more important for you than for someone else. So really evaluate your situation, which factors are important to you, and then you can even make your own fun chart and ranking of the states. By the way, if you're still watching this video, I want you to know how much I appreciate your support. I hope you've gotten a ton of value from this video and I would like to know, are you thinking of moving? And if you do, where would you go? Let me know in the comments below. 
And as for me, well, as promised, I told you I would reveal my favorite destination and the numbers don't lie, folks. If I leave California, it will definitely be for the Lone Star State. You guys, if we're just meeting or this is one of the first videos you've watched on the channel, my name is Danny Batsalkin and my passion and mission is to help you make great decisions in the areas of real estate, business, and finance. My luxury real estate team, Discover Properties, helps people buy and sell real estate here in Southern California. And we also have referral partners across the entire country so we can help you wherever you wanna go. If real estate is in your plans, go ahead and book a free virtual consultation and my team of all-star agents will see if they can help you. Now, if you're a real estate agent or you're thinking of getting into real estate, I coach some of the top agents and teams in the entire country. And I've created some amazing programs to help you build a business that's predictable, profitable, and fun. Check out my website for all of my current offerings and to see if we may be a fit to work together. All of the links for everything I've discussed in the video are below in the description. Be sure to check out these other two videos that I think you might really like. Thanks for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.